Neometrics has developed 70,000 RPM bearing test rig. This test rig that you see before you is an endurance test rig and it can test the bearings up to 70,000 RPM. This complete system comprises of the bearing loading assembly, the key element, the key part of the system. It comprises of the gearbox with which we can go up to 70,000 RPM and it has a drive motor as you see here. This drive motor is being controlled using a drive panel which is stationed next to it. What you right now see is a drive panel, 110 kilowatt drive panel to control the speed of the motor and this, this is a standard Siemens make 110 kilowatt drive panel. This is controlling the speed of the motor. This motor speed is being controlled between 0 to 5000 RPM and this gearbox multiplies it up to 70,000 RPM. 70,000 RPM is a very high speed and the gearbox has been designed considering the vibrations that might come and detailed engineering analysis has been done. Motor and gearbox are coupled using a flexible coupling. This is a very special coupling. It has got a feature of torque limiting. There is a torque limiting available here in this coupling. So if the torque goes beyond 20 Newton meter, this will slip and it will safeguard my gearbox and rest of the loading assembly. So that coupling is a calibrated coupling for maximum torque of 20 Newton meter. This gearbox as I talked about is a very very special gearbox. This increases the speed to 70,000 RPM and this being a very very high speed there are sensors installed at the bearing outer case of this gearbox those sensors are continuously monitoring the temperature which is going into a computerized data acquisition system which is sitting in another room which I will show you later. So this motor speed is being controlled using that data acquisition system and the <coughs> health of the gearbox is being continuously monitored using the data acquisition system. What you see here is the heart of the system. This is the bearing loading assembly. In the endurance test rig, this is the key part of the system. Here we have provision for vertical loading of the test bearings. As you see, here we have a pneumatic cylinder. This, this is applying the vertical load and it can apply vertical load up to 25 kilonewton on each of the test bearings. In the current configuration, there are two test bearings sitting on this shaft and there are two support bearings. And this mechanism, this pneumatic loading mechanism applies control vertical load between 0 to 25 kilonewton on each bearing and that load is controlled from the data acquisition system which is sitting in the room behind us. Very, 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 very critical component is lying here. This is a special coupling between the gearbox and test bearing shaft. This coupling is running at 70,000 RPM. This in the middle is a torque sensor, very, very special torque sensor which monitors, measures electronically the torque at 70,000 RPM and through telemetry this torque value is being transmitted to our data acquisition system and the torque is being continuously monitored. These couplings and this torque sensor is very, very important 
component and feature of this test rig. Neometrix is a custom engineering systems company. We manufacture custom engineered systems. This is being done for the first time in India and there are not many such installations all over the world. This is very, very critical from vibration point of view. To go deeper into the system, the test bearings are being loaded for vertical load as well as for axial loads. So the bearing will be facing radial loads, each test bearing of 25 kN and axial load can go up to 3 kN on each. We will open this assembly and we will show you how the test bearing looks like. I would advise uh, you to look into this complete assembly from bottom to top. As you see, there, there, there are axial loading systems. This is axial load application mechanism. And the counterpart of this is lying here. This is again axial loading system. There is a loading application facility and load sensor available here and the same is the case here. The test bearings are being tested under loaded conditions of radial load of up to 25 kN, axial load of up to 3 kN, speeds up to 70,000 revolutions per minute and there is another element and that is the temperature of the lubricating oil for the test bearings. What you see behind me is the lubrication system for the test bearings. We are controlling the temperature of the lubricating oil for the test bearing up to 120 degrees Celsius. So the test bearing is facing of lubricating oil temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. It is also seeing the vertical load up to 20 kN and axial load up to 3 kN. There is a flow control for the lubricating oil. As you see there, there, are, there is a flow meter and there is a flow controller and this flow controller, this flow meter, there are various temperature transducers as you see. These are together providing the critical testing environment for the test bearing. What you see next to this, this is gearbox lubrication system. This complete system is providing lubrication to my gearbox. This is the supply line and this is the return line for this. Various safety have been implemented to safeguard very very high speed gearbox and to make sure that it does not starve of oil. As detailed earlier, the, the bearing loading assembly is the most critical part. We will be opening this assembly and we will be showing you how this whole thing works. My colleague Mr. Rajinder Tripathi will join me and he will show you how this assembly is working. Please focus on this. Yeah. So, as you see, this uh, bearing loading assembly has been built in two parts. One is the lower half and another is the upper half. This upper half assembly completely opens up and you get the, the test bearing assembly inside here. This cylinder, this pneumatic cylinder on top of the assembly is, is taking this upper half of the loading assembly up and down. The job of this cylinder is to move this upper half up and down so that the test bearing is available for inspection, change and various other things. So my colleague will be opening it up and then we will show how, how it works. Thank you.